It's very essential for people to be able to get respite, not only for the carer, but also for their partner, for them to have time away as well. And if you're going to keep them at home, that respite, you really have to have it. Some people might see that that's not a good idea. It doesn't necessarily have to be respite in a nursing home or respite in a day centre. Just what John does going out and about is respite for me. And I really, I, I appreciate it and I enjoy it. The services John gets, um, he's got two Tuesdays a month where someone comes, his support worker comes and spends time with him. And one of those Tuesdays they work on his computer and work on the film, the pictures that he's taken. And the second Tuesday in the month, they go down to the Eastwood Community Centre and work with somebody that's a real guru with his computer and filming. And John's been going there now for some time and um, his support worker goes with him. Uh, he also has one Thursday a month where they go for the photography group. I wouldn't be able to do very much without the help of SCH. They've been terrific, wonderful. Actually, I've been doing this for about four years now through ACH. Without them, I wouldn't do as much now. Not, not on my own. I used to be able to do a lot, but not now. And it's been wonderful. It's given me a new life, lease of life. Well, ACH do provide a great service as far as uh, me having some independence of doing other duties in the community. I'm a chairperson of a computer club. I'm also president of the local residents association and uh, that enables me to get out and talk to other people knowing that Andrew is well looked after behind the scenes. I don't have to worry about, oh, I wonder how she's getting on. It's a matter of then focusing on what I'd like to do outside of the uh, home environment. Our life before ACH came onto the scene was uh, somewhat different to what it is today. Um, part of the problem was that I was doing too much and unfortunately over a period of time it gets to you because the heavy demand it was 24-7 and particularly with uh, my wife having such nasty injuries uh, I was getting very little sleep. I was up three or four times a night with uh, getting hot packs for her injuries, her back and neck and a few other scenarios and our doctor in the end said well you really need assistance and of course being ignorant, well what's assistance, Where does, what do you mean? I was relying on my husband for absolutely everything and to quote my doctor he said I was killing my husband because of everything he had to do for me and we, we weren't told about ACH or any other group that provides services and uh, it was just, uh, just terrible. I couldn't do anything uh, on my own. I still am very limited as to what I can do myself. I'm totally reliant on my husband. So to have someone come in uh, once a week for three hours is just a blessing. ACH provides two volunteers for me who take Brian out for five hours in the week. Uh, Brian also goes to the ACH choir and occasionally when we've been on holiday we've had carers while we've been on holiday to take Brian out for a few hours. Life without the volunteers would be very, very difficult, especially now as Brian's dementia has got quite advanced. I've been looking after my father for 10 years now, and ACH has been along for about five. And during that 10 years, things have got just a little bit trickier every now and again, and you, you tend to get like a little bit busier, and a little bit harder to keep him going and having ACH to give me some time out has been really, really helpful to keep a perspective on how I'm looking after Dad and whether we're doing the right thing, keeping him in his own home. Very important for Peter to have a break now and again because he's got me 24 hours a day and every time when there's no care or something here, 
he feels responsible for me. And uh, it's also often it causes slight differences between us and he needs a break more than I do to be to recharge his batteries and his ideas because of his love and care for me is wonderful. But 24 hours is a long time to be responsible for day after day. Mum stays two days a week here at Savas Cottage. She has uh, showers in the morning, so that's a, that enables me to get off to work for, uh, early. Uh, she gets picked up from home and delivered back home as well. But whilst she's here, I feel comfortable knowing that she's been very well looked after, meals provided, they go on outings, um, and she just really enjoys it. I can see it on her face when she comes home. Some people think if they're not with the loved one the whole time, that they're not being a good wife or husband or whatever. But I think you need that break because if you don't, you can get resentful because you're being, you know, you're not having your life as well. And I think if you've got your life and you're doing the things that are important to you, that in turn helps your partner because you're in a better frame of mind, you're happier and to, and I think if you're happy, they'll be happy. But it's very hard for some people to give up that that caring role that they're doing. They think that they're not being a good wife or a good husband. Well, it's very, very important for me to be able to bring Mum to Savas Cottage to have a break. Um, because I work full time. And um, I don't know how I would manage if it wasn't for everybody here who look after Mum so well. I'm free to to continue with, earn the money, <laughs> pay the bills. <laughs> but um, um, before Savas Cottage, I was really struggling. I didn't know where to go or what to do, and, and I couldn't leave Mum alone at home, could I? Mm. Donna, what sort of mischief you'd get up to? I know. <laughs> I'm sure it'd make me cry. <laughs> the people here, they're wonderful. They can't do enough for me, and all you people, you know. So we're very fortunate, very, very lucky. I used to think it was selfish, but now I know that it's absolutely essential to my life to have a break, even if it's just for a few hours. A few hours boosts you up tremendously. And to know that Brian is out and he's happy, because if Brian's happy, then I'm happy. <laughs>